It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomeranz. Thank you so much for joining us. Our guest is Nakar Zadigan. You know Nakar from 24, the hit series on Fox. She plays Dahlia Hassan. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. What a great series. Wow. Yes, I mean, you it must is. love it. Let's I talk about that in a moment. I want to talk about an organization that's important to you. It's the Levantine Cultural Center. Tell us about it. Yes, I do. I, I've been working with the Levantine Cultural Center. I'm the cultural ambassador for the center. It is a beautiful organization. What does Levantine mean? Levantine refers to the cultures of the Near East, mm -hmm. primarily, um, you know, the countries that border the Mediterranean, but we refer to it as um, as the greater Middle East, from right. Morocco, you know, to Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. um, it also refers to the rising sun mm -hmm. in the East, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, it's kind of a, um, it has a certain poetry about it. And you're a Persian American yourself. Yes. So in a lot of ways, it must be really um, exciting for you and inspirational for you to work uh, it, with this organization. Yeah, it certainly is. You know, you know Jordan L. Grabley. Who's who, amazing. Yeah, He's who, the executive director. He is the executive director. And uh, he and I, when we met, you know, we kind of are views and the stuff we were working on really converged and, and so it was a very natural progression for us to um, collaborate so, with So talk about what the center is doing because I've been to some events and they really are very forward thinking yes. and they are about kind of building a convergence between East and West. Yes, it's true. You know, the, the center kind of exists to bridge the gaps between the East and the West in an effort to, and, and largely in an effort to um, kind of uh, inspire peace in the Middle East through the arts, you know. And in so many ways, so many of us are yearning for peace in the Middle East. And I think in so many ways, the media portrays the Middle East as just a morass of anger and violence. And it's not. No, it's there not. are beautiful people doing beautiful things, yes. engaging in beautiful works of art and beautiful works of commerce. Yes, and so they're loud, hot people <laughs> that love. With spicy food and, and all spicy of that. Food. <laughs> um, okay, so tell, you have um, the film series. Tell, tell us about some of the films that you show. The film series is fantastic. You know, the film series started, as do many things mm -hmm. in the Levantine Center, is mm -hmm. kind of a, um, you know, thing that we kind of put together right. with no money. <laughs> but now, but, <laughs> but successful. Now, yeah, very successful. Um, this month, as a matter of fact, uh, I think it's uh, Captain Abu Raib from um, Jordan, I believe mm -hmm. it was the, f the uh, first movie they had put up. Got it. You know, for the Oscar sure. run. And uh, Ajami mm. is uh, screening I've heard of this it. month. Yes. yes, I've heard of it. The Israeli film that is mostly yes. in Arabic. Yes. And um, we do the film series kind of to give people an opportunity to see, give Americans an opportunity to see films that they possibly wouldn't have a, a chance to it's see. It's so important that we in America recognize that the Middle East. Right is, now, especially. Yes. Oh, especially. I mean, in so many ways I feel as if Americans look at the Middle East as you know this small little region with a few Muslims I mean well you know it's such a huge it's not something I mean in Europe you know perhaps people tend to know a little bit more about mm -hmm. um, Middle Easterners because they have to know about the Middle East to relate to their own of history course. but you know to relate to our history we know a lot about England and the 13 colonies but it's not something that is a direct directly related and so you know I give I give people the in, in a lot, lot of ways. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's shift gears. Well, it's not much of a shift. Let's talk about 24. Yeah, uh, tell us about Dahlia. Shift, it? <laughs> I play a character called Dahlia Hassan, mm -hmm. and although I can't tell you too much about oh, it. Oh, come on. Are you Just a fan between you watch, us. Are you a fan? Do you watch the show? 24. So then on. I definitely can't tell you because it would absolutely <gasps> ruin it But no one's for listening you. or watching. No, I know. Come it's on, just between you and me and everybody else. Exactly. <laughs> but more importantly, how much fun is it? I mean, it's like the pinnacle of one's career, I have to think. It's a fantastic show. I can't even tell you enough about how much I've been loving working on it. I kind of described Dahlia as, uh, you know, this mix between Benazir Bhutto <laughs> and Mrs. Robinson. So true. And I, I've really been enjoying working with everybody on the Thanks show. Thanks for joining it's us, Carly. Appreciate it. Thank you. You bet. For Thank local you. edition, I'm Brad Palmer. It's back to HLN. These days, we're all looking for ways to conserve money. At Charter, we're happy to announce a great way to save and get the best services for your home. With the Charter Bundle, you'll get the channels you love and reliability you can count on. Surf the web way faster than with DSL from the phone company. And talk all you want with unlimited local and long-distance calling. All at one low price you can depend on all year long. Call 1-877-SAVE-034 today to get the Charter Bundle, starting as low as $69.97 a month. Call now.